Welcome to another episode. This is the uh, the pin oak that we dropped two years ago uh, that we got 20,000 views on. So uh, if you didn't see that video, I'll uh, bust it for you. But it's 80 years old, uh, or at least it was when I dropped it. Um, I think it was 48 inches in diameter, and that's from wood to wood. And that's minus the bark. So this is a big old giant pin oak tree. So this was in our fence row, some of the oldest trees on our property. Uh, we're right along this fence row because the farmers left those alone. Anyway, to kind of show you what's going on, so this is our woods, that's our neighbor's woods. Uh, this is a trail we have going along that fence row. Again, some very nice trees along there. Some big old cherry, uh, shingle oak, which is really pretty wood. Um, if you look at the base, uh, these are the remains of uh, a video that we're gonna try to post. We took it a while ago and we just never posted it, uh, called a honey mushroom. And these are all nasty. They just turn black and just turn to goo almost. On this one stump going around to the other side, there must have been no less than five or six pounds of these uh, honey mushrooms. I believe honey mushrooms. Uh, there are two varieties that are fairly similar to each other. It's a parasitic mushroom. It grows on uh, stumps of dead trees. So all over our woods where I've cut down trees, those honey mushrooms grew. Just cool as heck, just cool as heck. Um, but again, I'm not quite sure. Uh, one of the difficulties in identif identifying it, honey mushrooms typically have a slick uh, cap. This does not look slick. It looks like a dry cap. So anyway, when in doubt, throw it out. I've never eaten one. Um, I've done the poor spore print. I think it's okay, but maybe next year I'll invest the time. So anyway, this is just all kind of stuff growing. We have these shelf mushrooms growing here. Uh, those just popped up in the last month. Um, I think those are generally called polypore uh, mushrooms. I think a lot of them are edible, but it's when they're very young. This one is definitely getting to the dry side, and I guess when they get to that point, no good. Uh, but some folks make tinctures and poultices out of it and such. The uh, bark is now starting to get uh, old. Um, this rots really fast, uh, especially the um, sapwood. The sapwood is sort of the outer, the light ring uh, of wood in a tree. The heartwood is on the inside. Often the hot wood is re rot resistant to some extent. But if you can see all these holes, and so lots of critters, and man, that is just great stuff uh, for when you're wanting potting soil and such. Uh, rotting trees are just the best on that front. So going to the actual uh, trunk, again, four feet in diameter at the base, pin oak is not a good wood uh, to make lumber out of. Uh, you get a thing called a ring shake, where where the rings are, they'll split if it has a certain kind of fungus. And you can tell if it has that fungus by the smell of the wood. It just smells bad. Um, and this, I actually think, had that. So anyway, an old woodworker really <laughs> convinced me never, ever, ever waste your time on it. So I'm, I'm probably not going to do much. Uh, so over here, you see the remains of a delicious uh, mushroom. One of the best we've got called an oyster mushroom. So you can see we had several growing on here. Um, I'm going to guess the next time or two when it flushes, we may have flushes that have 10 pounds of uh, mushrooms on it. Um, so if you look on up this tree, this was a big, big tree. Uh, I can't remember if I, I measured it out. I wanna say I did, it might've been 80 feet or something like that. It was, it was a monster. Um, going down below, the bark down here is starting to fall off and there's all kinds of fungus. You can feel just a nice, uh, a cool slick of it uh, growing along there. Um, it actually is, I think, the same type of mushroom probably as this shelf mushroom uh, uh, over here. Where you, on the top, look, you actually have weeds growing in uh, to the bark itself. This, we have a whole bunch over on this side called turkey tail, because it looks like the tail of a turkey. Uh, that one um, is uh, highly medicinal uh, for various things. The re it's been researched pretty well. A guy named Paul Stamets has done some research on that. There's some Asian research on that to have some uh, beneficial properties. So anyway, this is just a whole nother ecosystem. Um, and what you'll get growing across the top, raccoons will use this as a highway. There's a nice collection of uh, their poo. They mark their territory. And so that's adding nitrogen to this whole system and, and creating some soil pockets. It's just uh, amazing, mother nature in action. So there's the tree, 20,000 views later, what's going on? Farewell.